Hey guys, in this section we're going to be talking about PHP loops and we're also going to do a small project. We're going to get the same information that we got back in the uh, JSON and XML chapter. We're going to loop through a JSON file using PHP. So we've done this with JavaScript so now we're going to do it with PHP. Um, but first I want to just show you the the fundamentals of, of loops and how they work. So I'm going to create a new folder called chapter 4 section 4 and for now all we need is an index.php file actually you know what we can't parse PHP uh, unless we're in the htdocs folder so I'm going to get rid of that. Actually I'll just cut it and then paste it right into my htdocs folder and I'm just going to change that to section 4, S4. Alright, so we need our index.php. Now, you don't want to just click on this to open it because it won't parse any PHP. We, we get to this by going to localhost slash S4. Alright, so we have a blank document. So I'm going to open that up with Notepad++. And I want to show you just a basic for loop. Um, and we went over this in the, in the PowerPoint, and we did this in JavaScript, and it's very, very similar. So we want to say, well, first we want to open up a PHP tag. And we'll say for. And we'll create a variable called i, and set that to 0. And we're going to say as long as i is less than 10, and then we're going to increment. All right. So what I want to do for each iteration is just print out number and then the actual number. So we do that with echo, let's say number, and we'll put a space here. And then we want to concatenate our variable, so we do that with a dot. And then we can put in our i, and then we want another dot. And then we want to concatenate a br tag. So if we save that, we get number 0 through 9. Uh, it didn't give us 10 because we didn't say e greater than or equals to 10. So we can do that too. All right, so that's a that's a simple for loop. Now we can do a while loop. So with a while loop, we want to create the variable out of the loop, okay? And then we want to start the loop. We'll say while, and we want to say while i is less than or equal to ten. Then we want to do that same thing. We want to echo out number. All right, now we need to increment or else if we don't have if we don't put this i++ here right now it's going to be a never ending loop because i will never change it'll always be less than 0 so we need to make sure we put that increment so that does the same thing um, i already showed you a for each loop in the array the variables and array chapter uh, section so what i want to do now is get right into um, looping through these JSON movies. So we need the actual JSON file. I think I have that um, somewhere. I'll just copy it. Alright, so we have our JSON file. We can take another look at that. All it is is a um, JSON object and the object has a, an array called movies and then each array value has uh, some fields and values for each movie. So the first thing we want to do here is, well actually let me just paste in some HTML real quick. Uh, we want the doc type HTML
since we are displaying data in this file, then we should have the HTML structure. All right, so up here, we need to somehow grab the contents of that JSON file. We can't simply use a PHP include or require because we can only use those on other PHP files. This is a JSON file. So the way we're going to do this is we'll open up our PHP tags and we want to create a variable. I'm going to call it JSON data. And we're going to use a function here called file get contents. Now what this does is it just grabs everything in the file. You could even use this on a website. Uh, you could put a URL in here and grab everything on that site. So we want to get the contents of that movies.json file. And I have the file in the same directory. So we don't need to add any uh, files or um, folders or slashes here. So that's going to get all everything in the JSON file and put it in this JSON data variable. The next thing I want to do is I want to I want to decode the JSON so that we can parse it with PHP so that we can use it as an array. So I'm going to create another variable just called JSON and I'm going to use a function called JSON decode. And like it like it, it describes it, it decodes the JSON so that we can parse it. So we want to put in the JSON data variable and then we want to just put true, true parameter. So now we can we can deal with this this JSON variable. So I'm actually going to add a couple things here. Let's just add a title. And let's see, let's create a container. We'll do the styling last. Um, so in the container, let's have some UL tags because what we're going to do is loop through each movie and we're going to add an LI tag at, at the beginning and end of each movie. All right, and info. So let's see, we want to, we can use this variable, this JSON variable. So I'm going to say PHP um, so let's work in here. So let's say for each because we want to loop through the movie. So we got to say for each JSON array I'm sorry an array an array value of movies and this movies is coming from here so we want for each movies as key value so we want to get the key and and the value if you look at our JSON what we're looking to get is the key here and the value here. So I want to have, if we look at the document, uh, we have, actually we forgot to write the, to put the H1 tag in, so let's do that. We want the title as an H4. Okay, because we're going to style it different than the rest of the fields. We're going to give it a background and add some padding. So let's put in echo h4, and that's going to have a closing h4 tag as well. So in this h4, I want to I want to get the value of the title. So we need to concatenate here and we can say value and then what we want is the title so in here we'll put title and then we want to concatenate back 
okay so now we have our h4 tags and we should have the title in the middle so let's save that all right so we're getting the title and we're putting it into an h4 tag the next thing we want is we want to start our list tags because the list is going to contain the year the genre and the director so we're going to say echo li and in here we want to put the text year and we want to put a space there and then concatenate on value year and then we want to concatenate the ending li tag. All right, so I'm going to copy this. And the next line, we want the genre. And we want the director. That looks good. So let's reload. And now we have the rest of the info inside of list tags. Now the last thing we want to do is just style this because this doesn't look very good. So in the head, I'm going to open up a style tag and close it. So let's just add a few things here. Uh, the H1, let's center that. And the H4, which is the movie title, let's set margin to zero. Let's set padding to five pixels. And let's do the background. Make that a little darker. I'm sorry, a little lighter. Okay. So the next thing we want is the list items and we want to say list style none that'll prevent any bullets uh, and we want to do a padding left of five pixels we just want to push it in just a little bit and then finally we want to style our container div which will have a width of 600 pixels um, 600 pixels yeah uh, and we want to set the margin to auto because we want it to be in the middle and we'll set an overflow of hidden all right so let's save that reload and we have our movies list so as you can see you can you can use uh, there's a lot of different things you can use to loop through a JSON file and PHP is one of them and it's pretty easy to do um, I think it's even a little easier than doing it with JavaScript. So uh, just a, a very useful thing to know. JSON is getting bigger every day, so um, it's, a it's a real nice technology to have under your belt and know how to actually parse it and, and fetch data f with it. So that's it for, for this section. I believe the next section we're going to be getting into functions.